We're going to do an experiment today. So conventional wisdom says that PVA glue is not reversible. I've heard a few people say it is, but I can't find it demonstrated anywhere. So these doors, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I've got to fix those. And so rather than build up a whole new panel, blah, 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 I think this is a perfect opportunity to uh, see if we can reverse some PVA. So here we go. So to start with, I'm going to use this clamp as a spreader and see how strong the bond is to begin with. So that's bending the clamp. Oh, that's as hard as I feel comfortable pushing on that and it's not budging. Clearly that little glue joint is pretty strong. Now I'm going to try the trick. It's called a heat gun for those of you who don't know. It apparently is falling apart. So the theory is the heat gun and the application of heat for a couple minutes should soften up the glue enough to spread the joint. We will see. After just a minute or so, you can see the glue changing color anyway. Let's give it a bit of pressure and we'll see what it does. <laughs> well, it broke the other side. <laughs> this side seems to have moved a little bit, but uh, that, that side definitely broke. Oh, look at that. This side that there was no heat on, it uh, broke the wood. This side there's a tiny little tear out, but on a whole it actually hardly any damage at all. I would say that that's completely salvageable. I think what I'm going to do is I will clamp that down good and I'll heat up the other side, this side here, and see if I can get it out as clean as the other side. Definitely the wood tore out on this one, but it's really clean on this side. So let's see what heat and PVA does here. That's about two minutes of heat on the top and the bottom. Let's see if that's enough to weaken it out. I think I'm going to put some pressure on it and keep the heat on. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Check this out. Focus in on that joint there. Watch this. The heat. Look at that joint. Oh, look at that. There we go. Well, there you go. PVA is reversible. Didn't even take that long. I think probably had heat on it for maybe three minutes, four minutes. This is the gun I was using and I had it in position two, so that's putting out 550 degrees Celsius apparently at 500 liters of air per minute. Here we go, we can take this panel out. No damage to it whatsoever. I can trim it up a little bit, remill it, and hopefully use it for a new door so I don't have to glue up another panel, but we will see. Pull apart that other door. Well, what do you think of that? I mean, that one came out pretty stinking clean. I mean, I run that through the router, clean it up, and that is completely usable again. Uh, the other one kind of rushed it a little bit and it, it cracked. I'm going to have to remake the rails anyway, and, and the style or the I'm gonna have to make the styles on the top anyway, so I wasn't too concerned. Yeah, a little bit of time and patience and you can reverse PVA glue relatively easily too. It didn't even actually take that long, maybe three minutes per joint. I don't know if you can glue on top of that. I mean, that's I think the main concern is that PVA won't adhere to itself, but we'll see.